Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. And uh, we're in Goldcrest Valley. Brand, oh, looks like a brand new tractor. That one cleaned up really nice compared to the rest of them. Anyway, we're going to do some fertilizing today. Last episode, we went through and weeded that one. But I have found that the... Um, that the grass field will accept fertilizing. So it'll give us a higher yield of, uh, of grass when we go to mow it next time. So let's see, what do I want? I want this guy. Let's back into there and something like that. There we go. And let's top this off. It's a pretty good sized field. How close can I get in there around that wheelbarrow that is determined to always be in the way? It's when the little elves come back every night. And... Can you get there? Yeah. Okay. That's the end of the fertilizer. At least the liquid fertilizer. So let's head, over, head out over there. Get that job done. And then... I think we're going to uh, take a look at maybe selling some of our crops. What I learned last time about the great demands was that it's not necessarily important to wait for those to sell off the crops. Now we want to keep some crops. When we get to the pigs, we're going to find that they're going to need pretty much, you know, at least, well, I want to say all of them, but they all qualify. It was like three or four different categories. Let me explain that. Uh, animals. There we go. Pigs. They need some of corn, some of wheat or barley, some of canola, sunflower, or soybean, and some of potatoes or sugar beets. So they'll all qualify to feed the pigs. So we don't want to run any of our supplies down to zero so but we do have some that are more than enough to uh, you know to bring a couple of, of trailer loads in and, and turn it into some cash which is really how we should be making our money as farmers anyway been saving them for the right moment I just found out that there isn't a right moment at least not one that I was expecting anyway let's unfold this guy um, let's head over here and do it. Now we can only do the original field. So it's not like we can fertilize where we're driving on right now and gain any extra yield. But we can gain some yield out of this. Let's see here. I don't want to do that. Let's turn the cruise control up. Then we'll max it, max it out. And so... B and 3. There we go. You can see it's darkening the soil, so it is accepting it. Get over to that edge a little bit more. There we go. There. So we'll get more... Uh, well, each each round of this is 30% more yield, so that much more grass will come out of the next, the next time we mow this thing. Which we will do probably several times before this series is over. Especially for what the silage sold for and the goal of actually filling up a silage bin one of these days and and uh, yeah. yeah we still got a straw bale over there but um yeah also I may as well go out and pick up that second tipper wagon that I'd wanted to buy some time back but never made it back over to the store let's see this is going to be interesting now which one of my mouse buttons was for sprayer I'm thinking it's the closest one yeah so what do I do here there, that's how you get over a hay bale. Ooh, made it. Right about there. And there we go. That's right, let's take that down, make it look a little more realistic. Okay. A little bit of overlap, but not much. I feel like I'm, I'm leaning over to the left right now. We're on a, we're on a grade, that's why. 
That's right, there's a setting. Let me try something. How did that work? There was a setting had to do with the horizon. Is that here or is that out of game? Um... Not there, not... It had to do with whether the horizon will always be level or if you want to lean with your tractor. In other words, is it self-correcting as if you're in there leaning vertical or are you stuck at whatever level, whatever angle the tractor is at? But I don't see it. If it's here, let me know. Otherwise, it's outside of the game. I'm thinking it is. Okay. Oh, well. So, what is that one? That one right there. I just got a, a new keyboard. And it's got a whole row of macro buttons down the far left side, all the way up to the side of the escape key. Hello? Batterstad? On sale? Hmm. Hold the presses. But um, when I go to hit the escape, I'm now hitting G1. I gotta be careful. It's like G4 or 5 as it fires up the radio. All of a sudden, country songs were blasting through my, my studio a while ago when I was playing with it. So I'm going to have to figure out how to program those things. Let's find out what a Vatterstadt is. Shop. Sale. There was a... Oh, sale's right there. Double click. Oh, okay. These guys are on sale, including two of them that are mods. I'm hesitant to get into too many mods. There was one update to Farming Simulator... And for a while, some of the mods were broken because they hadn't updated to match the, the game changes. So I'm kind of hesitant now after seeing... Uh, I think Daggerwind was going through that for a while. Some of his mods no longer worked, and it messed him up for a few episodes. These guys look like they're primarily... Well, that looks like a cultivator, and that looks like a cedar or sower. Oh, that's the nice sower. I think I've had one just like that before. Remember the stairs. Yeah, that thing would sow a half an acre at it per swath, it felt like. Um, and this guy here, okay, that's just a cultivator, 8 meters across. This guy is 6 meters, so 18 feet, 6 meters here too, 44, 51,000. What are you? You're 3 meters... Additionally, the machine offers possibility to see directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. Hmm. So you can... Interesting. So you can uh, um, harvest your crop and go in with this guy and, and just seed it. The cultivating is built into it. And I would imagine the fertilizing is too. Um, is that what these two are? Trying to remember. Oh, there we go. That one does fertilizing and seeding. This one only does seed and only does seed. Okay. What was at this end? This guy right here, cultivator, prepares fields for next sowing. Okay. Well, that system is on sale. And I'm really kind of liking that one. Think about that. We do have garage. So that is six meters. Where that switches. There we go. In the garage, we do have a sower and a new one. That's the new cultivator. That's the old sower. There's the new one. He is six meters wide already. He only does sunflower, soy, corn, and that is sugar beet. We got that because of the sugar beet. That's right. So back, back. Oh, that was it. Okay, that was it. So this one does all of the other ones. So a big one to do all the other ones, and a big one to do the uh, uh, the, the few that aren't included here. Hmm. That's tempting. 15% off. So normally, what would that be? I don't know, 50000 well, think about it. I don't know how long this is going to last. Oh, that's right. I was going to say at the beginning, I hadn't looked at the uh, um, the poll results yet. It takes a couple of days for them to show up for me. So probably next episode we'll get into those. 
So I'm right now just kind of looking for filler of things to do so that I don't have to wait two days to do an episode. And I got once I got to thinking about it, there's lots to do. Just a matter of jumping in and doing it. I'm kind of tempted to get this guy into our uh, our uh, inventory, our, our armory. That's quite the machine. Too bad you can't walk over and look at it unless you buy it. There's no showroom. And that's a shame. These... Hopefully one of these versions of Farming Simulator shows up with a full-blown farming equipment showroom with one of everything sitting in there, like a used, or like a car lot. You can go in and yeah, maybe even give them a test drive, but you can't go, you know, within a, outside of a certain radius or distance without buying it. Hmm, I like that idea. But, um, do we? Let me know in the comments what you think. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be... Yeah, I'm, that's right. I'm still running at one speed. I'll keep it at one speed this time. That sale is going to be there for a while. And let me know what you think about that. Is that something that we want to spend our money on? We don't have any large crops right now. So we don't really have to have the large equipment yet. I'm sorry. We don't have any large fields right now. So there is that. B3. 40,000 could do a lot of other things, but it's also kind of fun to have the great big equipment driving in the back of these tractors, too. Just noticing how we're ending right there. Yeah, not quite the right span, huh? Well, let's go off to this end over here this one done, then we'll uh, clean up that little section in a, in a different way. I ah, clipped off that little tree. Oh well. There we go. Well, I'm thinking if we pick up a tipper, probably a a match to the one we've already got. We'll look at the choices, but I think that was the best one for the money. And then hook it up to the other one and bring two tippers full of, I don't know, canola or soy or something like that. Then we get a pretty hefty chunk of money out of that. Enough to buy a sower, huh? Ooh, I may have just talked myself into it. I just might have. Okay, let's get this, this fertilizing done. I got something I want to do. It's Christmas. <laughs> I don't get to buy new equipment very often. Let's see, how straight am I actually going? I wish I had something to really base this on. I want that gap in there to get any wider than it is. Boy, that's almost nauseating. Woo! There. That'll anchor you. All right, well, let's test to see who took the Dramamine today. <laughs> now, this one, I'm going to have to actually come to a stop. Because we're not going to clear that tree otherwise. Yeah, just barely. Okay, that looks pretty close right there. Ah, much better. Now I can see the end of the sprayer. Almost touching. Let's get over there. There we go. Now it's still a little short. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Here's a sheep over there. Little building right there. Reminded me of the, uh, uh, I want to say the beehive. There's a, there's a placeable that just like the greenhouses that will give you a month or a daily income, there's also a beekeeper's building with lots of bees in it. You can buy it's one of the cheapest placeables that earns you an income. It doesn't earn you much, but it kind of looks about the size of that little building right there, maybe a little smaller. And it's a nice look to it. Something that would look good and look appropriate out on our main farm with the three fields there. So we've got the uh, the bees brought in to uh, 
I'll pollinate. So I think that's an appropriate uh, expense soon. Maybe that'll be in one of our our uh, upcoming polls. What do we got? Another two passes? Something like that. I'm going to ignore the bushes right there. Oops. Use that button to hit the brakes too, but it would be better just to take the cruise control down. Let's take it down to like something like that. That way it's not so fast. When you take off, when you turn off the spray, it no longer has the restriction of the of the implement you're you're using, which apparently is seven miles an hour. So then it goes up to whatever the cruise control is set at. And that's fine if there's a wide open end, but if you get to navigate something real uh, closely, then you know, full speed ahead is it's a little bit uh, rough. So we'll go half speed ahead. Looks like three quarters of a row over there. And that'll be fine. That means I don't have to be so close to the edge over here because we'll have a little extra on that side. Come on, get over there. There we go. It takes a while after touching the wheels for it to finally react and move the back end over. There's a train bridge out in front of us. Alright, so the end of the field here is kind of a it kind of curves in. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, not gonna do any good in there, so I'll just we're gonna waste it. I'll waste it in here. So that's actually about the same width, not too far, of uh, the section we missed in there. Hmm. What I was gonna do is just buzz back and forth and hit them. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Or we'll do this here, and we will do the other method over there. The field is in there, right? Yeah. Although it it feels better doing this. It look like you're actually spraying all of the grass, even though the the field does end there. This looks a little more intelligent to me. <laughs> feels like I'm not wasting it, let's put it that way. All the reflections out there. I like the way that the uh, the the view blurs as it goes through the exhaust plume. It's a little more real that way. Alright, let's go catch that little mist strip over there. How best? Let's see if I can identify where it is. There it is. What I was thinking about is just doing a series of of these through here. I think that's probably the best way to do that. I may miss little pieces here and there, but it's still better than missing the whole strip. Concentrating. <laughs> Too many buttons to hit and just the right timing to be talking right now. Noble Rambler, the patient farmer. Alright, 
one more. Close enough. All right, let's go. F hmm. Let's go pick up a tipper, bring it back, fill it full of something, take it somewhere to sell it, and see if that brings us forty-four thousand dollars or really close to it. Oh, that's right. I don't have to obey the cruise control anymore. Okay. Let's zoom in here, with this feeling a little less uh, helicopter-ish, drone-ish. In fact, let's just take it all the way inside. Then we'll grab, we'll grab the big tractor, the Massey Ferguson. Try not to steer it into a rock wall or something, and, and uh, go pick up the the tipper and. And that will be a, a faster drive in and faster, more powerful to uh, haul all the, uh, the grain. So we're looking at 30,000 liters worth of weight as far as the grain capacity of two of those tippers. But let's put this guy away. And that's right, we also need to pick up another uh, liquid fertilizer soon. I wonder if you can put that in the pickup. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to see much out of there. Yeah. Maybe some of you can handle those mirrors, but, um, yeah. <laughs> not me. All right, straight in. Down out of the ceiling. Curve back. Uh, a little further. I want to be not in front of that uh, the weeder there. That's probably... In fact, let's go a little bit more. Okay. Crank it over. Just missed that concrete pillar. And that's about as close as I want to get to the weeder. We'll do that. It's kind of tough squeezing in to get it out of there last time. Alright, let's grab the Massey Ferguson. Never quite parallel park these guys. There we go. Let's grab this one. Oh, he's looking nice and clean too. And let's head into town. I don't believe we can hook up a tipper to the pickup truck. I don't think it's the same hitch. Well, we'll take a tractor in. Now, let's see how well this steers from the inside. Not bad. When I let off on the on the accelerator, it it's a lot easier to control. Clear, clear. It's when I'm accelerating through a turn that I can let off on the key, and it feels like it just continues to to make the turn on me. Okay, watching for rogue drivers. I tell you, these folks drive crazy. <laughs> Coming from a crazy farmer. <laughs> a crazy, impatient farmer. Even though I was just the patient farmer back there in the fertilizing. But I really want to pass this guy. Alright, calm it down. Is your left blinker on for turning left? That was interesting. So they're willing to blink on a turn, but they're not willing to come to a stop. Alright, 
So we've got dippers. We've got this guy. He's 15,000 liters compared to the 8,000 and 8,500. <clears throat> that is the next size down. This is the size I'm used to. This is 21,000. That's a dolly. I don't want a dolly. So we've got to get all the way up to this guy to get into the next fixed wheel trailer. 21,000 for 27,000 or 6,000 dollars more. Hmm. So 19 hmm. This is probably where we're going to get to eventually, but the size fields we've got, unless we're doing sweet potato or sugar beets <laughs> again, um, it's not truly necessary. That I can definitely see these if we're going to get into sugar beets and potatoes, because uh, it's just trailer after trailer after trailer. But for most else that we're doing at our level at this point, I think this is enough. All right, so. Let's do this one. Um, select wheel setup. Wide tires, standard tires. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, there's probably a difference as far as you know how it's going to be used. What uh, is it going to try to to roll through plowed? you know, furrows and without damaging crops or that sort of thing, but that's not something I'm really that concerned about. I think I'm going to get it just so we can look at the difference. Uh, purchase for that? Yes. Okay. So we were looking at this way. 44 to 51. Now again, what are the differences? The difference is that that's what we've already got. Oh, one in the garage. We've got this guy already. Let's think about things. Let's go back a minute. Let's go to sewers. You're here somewhere. Sewing machines. So we picked up this guy because it was the least expensive one that had some, some decent span to it that would handle sugar beets. This is the same span is there anything else that can do this job for cheaper? Uh, 4.5 meters. Nope. So other than this one on sale, what is the next one up? That does all of them. He's 9 meters. This is 6 meters. This really is the, the one that we would probably buy next. Then when we get into another round of much larger fields later in the series, we would be getting into more of, you know, these bigger guys. Like we may even, oh, we may even get into one of these at the very end. I mean, what's the span on that? 12 meters, so 36 feet, 45 feet. That's, that's impressive. I think that is the one. So 44,000 back. Let's keep that one as our goal. But let's get this guy hooked up. And N. Yeah, N takes the cover off. That is the same one we've got, right? That's what I'm remembering. Uh, tippers. Do we now have two of these in the garage? We do. Okay. So let's go hook two of them up, fill them full of grain, sell them, and see what uh, what we've got. Clear. And clear if we floor it. No, we're not going to make it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we get to follow them. Oh, joy. But you're going to turn right in front of that red car and ah, oh, there you go okay now what's this guy gonna do he's going that way
let's hook up the other one. And we'll check prices out on the market and decide which crop is the best one. Hmm. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit easier on myself. At least get me reasonably close to the right uh, position. Okay. So we'll come in like this. Alright. This way? Yeah. Ooh, not bad. But we missed. Try that again. Almost. Gotcha. Alright. What do we fill her up with? Regular or unleaded? Or canola? I am not going to make that turn, am I? Alright. How would I do it on my own farm? I'd sneak between the trees here. Come back over here. A little bit wide. So that they pull in just right. Kind of, like a snake. Pull into here, hit the R. Yes. No. Let's go here instead. Alright. Prices. So, that's the great demand that's going on. And it's not much different from what else is for sale which tells me really we're not looking for blue unless this one happened to randomly hit a great demand and shot up to 1800 or something so I would say we're looking at sunflower or soy yeah wool is at an all-time low so we'll hang on to that for a while otherwise 1484. That's what we have the most of, too. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. That's over at Mary's Farm. Let's go for that. So that is soy. Back. Let's see. That one. R. Soy. Right there. Start. So 30,000, is that 30 times 1,400? Something like that. Oh, I have to hit R again? Yeah. Come on, not in the building. There we go. So what is that, about 45,000 in, in uh, profits or in sale? That's like a uh, uh, a new sower, isn't it? Hmm. I think it might be meant to be. Of course, I'm not counting the cost of the new tipper. We're just ignoring that part. We were supposed to buy that anyway, so that's just a given. Got a car coming that way, and nobody this way. And for the fun of it, we'll turn on the flashers, or the beacons. Oh, we got some weight on us. He is struggling to get up to speed. Even this beast. There's a car back there. And he's in our mirror. Good. Sometimes the mirrors work. You can see the sides of the trailers and everything. Just right. Just can't do that with a... Uh, uh, with a fertilizer sprayer on the back. And Mary's farm is the last right turn. If I don't hit the brakes and maintain all of my momentum, we might just make it up the hill. Might. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought I was exaggerating. Come on now, come on. <laughs> Okay, the beast has been put into perspective. 
wasn't as beasty as I thought. Just compared to the other three. One of these poles, when we're feeling kind of rich, we'll put a new tractor in there too. Add another fun toy to our our, uh, our arsenal. Alright, where is the cell point? Probably the silos right there. That would make sense. Yeah, there we go. So this is where I I went to uh, try to scoop up some manure to see if I could in order to decide if I wanted to use the uh, put in the greenhouses early, but it just didn't work. All right, hop out into here and let's see if this works. So I want I think it's I. Yeah. All right, money's going up over there. I want to see. Half of 44,000, so something like 22? 22. 22. Woohoo. Let's do another 22. 22,261. Let's see if it's the same. Let's see if price dropped because we just added. It did drop. It drops instantaneously compared to how much product is, is now on the market. Price reflects. Uh, Availability. Suddenly, wow. So you've got a hmm. So potentially, there's no real value in trying to bring all of it at once to maintain your price. It's probably dropping as you go. Interesting. Let's go drop these off. Make a quick trip out to the uh, store and pick up our new uh, sewer and call this an episode. Here's the last field that is withered. I didn't go in to plow yet. It's not as big as field five, but it's sure gonna feel like it. It's a big one. All right, the fun bridge. And there's the oversteering tractor. There we go. The bridge with the uh, Dukes of Hazard ramp at the end. What's he do with all this weight? Eh, a little bit fun. Kind of fun to watch the trailers and the mirrors as you round a corner. See them all swinging back into place. I'm still amazed how a, a game can can show you that. I kind of get the concept of the programming. I've seen uh, Quill 18 program some things and how you can choose the camera angle and how it you know how it looks into the game and and uh, shows that. But still, it's it's amazing to me to to watch it. Let's head down here and drop these guys off. Okay, how best? Let's drive through. Drop off one. Ah, oh, we'll go for the far one. I need to go... Let me get outside. As tight to this thing as I can without hitting. Like so. Now, I've got to get back out of there with the tractor. Like that. Get over here. There we go. Is that last trailer going to hit? Nope, he looks good. Just made it. Okay. So, what was that? Maybe we snagged a bumper or something. Well, he's in now. So let's drop him off. That is that one. Good. Oops, this way. So, pull him over here, look through the tree, drop him off right alongside. Is that one all the way in? Yeah, he's in enough. We'll go ahead and make him even. All right. Let's go get us a sower. We'll call this one done.
And through the magic of editing, we're here. We'll park over here and walk into the shop properly, at least to the door. All right, sales. Um, I'll take one of these, please. You got one in stock? Oh, you do? Oh, thank you. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. I don't need any color changes. Bye. Okay, yeah, yeah. Back, back, back. There we go. Um, hello? <laughs> I think it just said hi to me. All right. 44000 So really, we're just down the price of the tipper so far. Look at the wheels down there. What is that for? It's not for traveling. It's... I don't know. Do we use them when we unfold it? I mean, it doesn't make sense to put it on four wheels. Well, maybe it does. Maybe a uh, just an arm sticking down would be uh, too much for the weight. Um, v? Ah. No, it doesn't write on the wheels there either. I guess it does. Okay. So that just assists the uh, weight on the end of the trailer. Again, causing you not to need a weight in the front, huh? Uh huh. So let's get this guy home and we'll call this one done. into the back 40 here and he parks up there with the sewers you know what I didn't check I didn't check to see if there was a horsepower requirement for this thing I guess we'll be surprised won't we <laughs> are parked on that side. I guess we park this guy along this edge. That's probably the last sewer we're going to need for a while. Let's go a little closer. Right in there. close enough. Alright then, um, let's just check that real quick. Sale, this guy, horsepower, 132, so we're fine. Even our little case uh, tractors over there can run this one. Alright, well, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Next time we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the uh, poll results and head out from there. So, catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.